if one person, if one business is struggling, then we all are. There are folks that they want to be successful, but they, they just don't know how. Bring Lexi is an informational hub for businesses or consumers to help educate around branding, around marketing, so that they can be successful. If you need a plumber, if you need an accountant, or if you just need someone to babysit your kids, we have a directory of amazing businesses. To know that you have all of these talents and abilities right in your backyard, any service that you need, at any time is available, is life-changing. As you're spending dollars in the community you're in and it's circulating, it just causing things to come to life. Green Lexi is helping black and brown businesses to be visible to the community that is looking for them. We are here again with Green Lexi, LLC. And to my left is my co-partner in crime, <laughs> <laughs> Apostle Pastor Loretta Mayberry. And then with me is Artez. I'm used to calling him Wayne. Hey, I go, we go good. way back. It's all good. Uh, and Young. Yes. And then his beautiful wife and spouse, Dorinda yes. Young. Both co-owners of Green Lexi LLC. And we finished last uh, session with talking uh, in probably more just kind of dialoguing about what you do at Green Lexi and the importance it is to the community. We, and, and we also talked a, a little bit more about who you guys are. So mm -hmm. the community knows you. Mm -hmm. We want to, uh, we want them to know about your resources. They want, we want them to know how they can reach you and what services you can provide for individuals in our community, not only business owners, but also consumers. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Right. right. So uh, share us a little bit more how people can get involved in, in what you do and provide. So first of all, if you go to our website, greenlexi.com, um, consumers and our business can set up a profile. We have a number of businesses that are already in the directory. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go ahead and create uh, an account and we can, can mm -hmm. connect your existing business with your new email account. Um, for consumers, um, again, we have a resource library on it, just about everything mm -hmm. um, for t from taxes, painting, companion, gardening, if you like to garden, um, food pantries in the area. We know that there's a lot of insecurity regarding um, resources. And so one of the events we posted um, on our Facebook page was a church that uh, gave away uh, laundry products over okay. a weekend. And so when we find those organic deals out there, we try to make sure we put that out there on our events page so that people know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just some of the things that we can, uh, you can do. So right now the membership, there is a fee mm -hmm. for our, to be a part of Green Lexi, but for right now that's free because we want people to utilize the site. Once you create your account, you can go in there mm -hmm. and see what's available. If you're a business owner, go and see if your business is already in the directory. Mm -hmm. um, I filled it up with a lot of stock images. I've tried to go and find things off of websites, but if there's something more specific that you'd like, uh, just reach out to us. Let's uh, set a connection and just get that updated for you. So you so, mentioned the fee right now, it's, it's access is free. Yep, absolutely. But it's the fee for consumers and business owners? For business owners. For business owners, yes. not consumers. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Awesome. Right. Okay. So we really want businesses to be available for consumers that want to do mm -hmm. business with them. Okay. So it's an avenue. Yes. Or a place for uh, businesses to advertise what they provide in their services. Yes. So they can get more utilization. That's awesome. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of time on Facebook, someone will say, do you know a good, someone who cuts grass mm -hmm. or do you know somebody who does painting? Do you know mm -hmm. someone who does um, yard service or so? Yep, we've kind of gone out there and found those businesses um, and just made sure that they were available. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to do your due diligence with any business, mm -hmm. but we just want people to know there there are businesses available for what you need. Yeah, I think Green Lexi needs to be like Angie's List. 
Like when you know you want something, that's what you go search for. Or when we want to go to the internet and we want to search something, we go right to Google search. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. if I need something, I want to go to Green Lexi. Yeah. Right. So like that, that should be the that should be the yeah. motive, the goal for for uh, yeah. where I see Green Lexi being so beneficial mm-hmm. to our community. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You you actually um, have voiced that pretty well, uh, because in our vision, we see Green Lexi being like what Main Street was for folks for a long time. So mm-hmm. a one stop shop, you know, you yeah. you can go there and find whatever it is that you mm-hmm. need, uh, whether it is a, you know, uh, a particular service or mm-hmm. or products that you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Right. And and so um, so, you know, essentially, uh, you know, years ago, we lost that mm-hmm. where our, you know, um, our businesses because of like riots and those sort of things, the businesses got burnt down and businesses displaced. And so, you know, our businesses are spread out. They're not all together. So Mm -hmm. we see Green Lexi as a, as a, we describe it as an informational hub. Mm -hmm. So we do have a directory, but the idea is that you can gain information for the things that you need. Mm-hmm. Literacy is so important. Oh, yes. So, you know, and so when I think of literacy, I think of my myself. When I was uh, when I was younger, I struggled with reading mm-hmm. um, to the point that, like, I, I want to say when I was in like the fourth grade, I went into a program called HighLink, and in that they basically just helped me to be able to, through repetition, get reading comprehension. Mm -hmm. And and it, you know, really helped my understanding. And I would say that, you know, my, my uh, schooling improved from there. And, and so I believe that's the same for consumers and and businesses. There, a a lot of times it's just unknown. They don't comprehend, they don't have literacy Mm -hmm. and it causes them to struggle. Uh, So for consumers, you know, a lot of folks don't understand about like how to do things with their finances. Mm -hmm. So, but, so we do have investment people that are on our platform. So if you do need help with financial literacy, (laughs) find those people on Green Lexi. Yeah. Yeah, And so the same thing goes for businesses. A lot of times businesses are trying to operate Mm -hmm. based on you know, they're just going by what they think they're supposed to do or because a friend has told them what to do. And sometimes that doesn't work out well. They'll make decisions that will harm their business or cause them to go out of business. So we have the professionals you need, whether it's business consultants, Mm -hmm. marketing businesses, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, advertising businesses, all of those exist on the platform to help uh, help with, whether again it's consumers or businesses mm-hmm. to uh, to be able to grow in their understanding and gain success. That's awesome. So that's good. What about in the area of events? Do you have like events there that are advertised and are? Is there a lot of like event planners even? So that are part of the that's according to our analytics. That's something that people really enjoy. Mm-hmm. They really like to see what's going on in the city. Mm-hmm. So we have organically gone out. Um, mm-hmm. There was an Earth, Wind, and Fire concert. Oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> Samara Joy was here, I believe, just yesterday. Mm-hmm. So we went out and found that, and we put it on our website. And of course, right now we're just gathering information mm-hmm. so that people come um, mm-hmm. to our website. Mm-hmm. Um, but another little trick or a treat for our consumers and our businesses. Consumers, do you wanna know how to better serve a business? What do they need from you? Uh-huh. So we created an ebook. All you have to do is provide your email address mm-hmm. and you'll get an ebook. Consumers, this is what you can do for a business to help them grow. Mm-hmm. And then for the businesses, do you wanna know what consumers want, what they need. Mm-hmm. So we have an ebook for that as well. So it's a hand in glove type of approach. Mm-hmm. We're gonna help each other That's survive good. and yes. do well. Yes, so. That's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. I know that Juneteenth is coming up and um, an entity or group that I know of wanted to participate in a parade. Mm-hmm. And I tried to cut out no, this place, not call it that place. You, you still never got hooked up. <laughs> never followed up with me. 
So sometimes, you know, an entity like Green Lexi, there's just a link there and it tells you how to do it. Right. Or, you know, it's just some. So I could see how consumers can get frustrated with trying to access information right. when they need it. I mean, we literally were in a meeting earlier this week and someone was, uh, they missed something that was going on and they were like, well, I didn't see <laughs> this or I didn't know. Yeah. And um, Dorinda was like, well, we do have an event page. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they're aware of Green Lexi, yes, but mm -hmm. just trying to get that awareness out. Uh, Dorinda's, our, our, I, I call her our social media guru. <laughs> she she, <laughs> she, <laughs> she yeah, posts a lot. True. <laughs> she, she posts a lot, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to help that information to, to get out. And um, very soon here, we're going to begin to uh, email out a calendar of events oh, for the, uh, that. yeah, that for the, you know, that'll be going on for yeah. the week. Uh, we'll also begin to produce a, um, a, a newsletter at least, mm -hmm. at least monthly. Mm -hmm. So, so that folks, uh, can, uh, know about, mm -hmm. you know, in, important information yeah. uh, that's going on in the community. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Things coming up and deadlines and things of that nature. Yeah. Cause I, I was going to say, how do you, how do you reach us that need the information? <laughs> On our end, we can go out there searching and right. go to your website. But yeah. what do you do on your side to get mm -hmm. us to you? Right. So mm -hmm. we do a lot of organic looking. Um, mm -hmm. We just kind of comb the website, uh, the internet. Um, one thing I, I was pretty uh, excited to work on when we had the tornadoes here uh -huh. um, not too long ago, there were all sorts of resources available, yeah. yes. um, different organizations coming in to help us. Mm -hmm. So. We were able to put that out there, even something as simple as, what do I do with all of these tree limbs? Mm -hmm. um, so there were sites you can go if you wanted to volunteer. Um, on Thursdays on our Facebook page, I, I call it my thankful Thursday post. And <laughs> okay. if you want to volunteer somewhere, I usually put that on our, on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Have some time. Mm -hmm. If you wanna make someone's day, here's an opportunity for you to just get involved in the community because mm -hmm. it's, we don't want it to just be a give me, give me, give me That's thing. Right. How can we also give back to our community? Yeah. So on the yeah. Facebook kit, if you're following your page, that's how we get everything. Yes. Through the Facebook. So the Facebook is just basically my, just post that I put out there mm -hmm. on the, on our actual Green Lexi website, we have an events page. Okay. okay. Um, it's one of the tabs and you can find out what's going on. If you just scroll down, even I believe there's a spot on there that shows what's going on in the community as well. So if you're a business and you have something out there that you want people to know about, mm -hmm. contact us at support at greenlexi.com and we can definitely get that on the website. I love this. Right. Okay. Yeah, there's actually a request button that they can mm -hmm. click on the events page okay. uh, to request that fill out the information. And again, it, it's mm -hmm. free. At least for now. Yes. At least for now. Yeah. So I, I know uh, Apostle's got a question, something to do about the five, ten year vision mm -hmm. or whatever. But mm -hmm. my thought or question right now is more uh, where, where, what would be like the next level uh, of where you're, what you're, what you're doing? Because it seems like you just, you've not only, um, want to link others with resources and you're valuable and you have these resources and experience and knowledge, hands-on, operational, administratively and, and financially, fiscal and compliance. Do you see yourself being an entity that would be uh, a hub for uh, any type of partnerships when it pertains to being a, a fiscus, fiscal officer for a fund of dollars to help people and funnel them out and Absolutely. Help we're with money. We're yeah. definitely on resources with, with yeah. uh, sponsorships. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Right. So what I, is that yes, like? right. So I, I, I think about the fact that like, there's a lot of opportunities for business in our, our community. And, you know, at, I, I would definitely like to be in a place, see Green Lexi being a place where, yeah, where it's a, uh, it can be a resource or a way to get funds to people. Um, mm -hmm. And so there's different, you know, avenues of thought there. Not quite sure, you know, which way we would go. But mm -hmm. so like you, there there are organizations in town right now, like Nebraska Enterprise Fund, 
Um, and the business, the business administration. administration. So, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and yeah. these organizations, some of them give like, they give like micro loans. Yeah. So you can get loans as little as $500 to yeah. help you to start mm -hmm. what you're doing. Yeah. Here's the thing too, is that I know we're talking about getting money people to start business, but you know what? You don't need any money to start a business. You just, yeah. you need an idea and be willing to put the effort in to put it to, together and, and so that to piece, work. So that part of it. Yeah. What part of the niche are you going to do then? Because you say that, but right. some of us don't realize that. We think we need this and we need that, <laughs> this and this and that. Right. And then eventually we, we put our idea on the back burner and then it Right. Somebody so, else is doing it. <laughs> right. So I, I, I say like, right. So what we would like, again, like to be able to do is, yeah, it, it, if um, I, I look at something like crowdsourcing too, right? So you have like your, your GoFundMe or different types of organizations, you know, situations where you can collect money. And so, mm -hmm. I, you know, it would be great if the community itself would be able to say, hey, you know, here's a business that deserves to make it. Let's see if we can, what we can do to help them. I and mean, there's sure. different ways to go about, sure. about doing that. Um, we, you know, but those are details that we're, you know, mm -hmm. yet to, to, uh, to work out. So, okay. so but I, I, I see what okay. you're, you're saying. And I mean, you, you have some good vision. I don't know. Maybe we need to put you to work. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a quick, simple idea that we talk about on our website we we like to do shout out saturdays mm. so we'll go to a business um and just say hey we're here hello omaha we're at this location come mm -hmm. on out see what's going on we've done that for a couple of businesses just to like raise their vis uh, visibility mm -hmm. um downtown omaha is really starting to catch on and there's a lot going down there. There's yeah, a river yeah. front. Oh, goodness, yeah. There's just all types of things. Yeah. There's yeah. CWS. But there's also wonderful little coffee shops that aren't mm -hmm. scooters, mm -hmm. that aren't yeah. Starbucks, right. aren't yeah. the big name brand stores. Yeah. So just to go to one of those businesses and if people see us on live, they can come down and, and just make them sell out of everything that day. Oh yeah. So we want to do more things like yeah, that. Sure. Um, sure just to give somebody an extra boost. Yeah. You just never know Absolutely. small things can make someone's day. So that's right. That's love right. it, love it. Absolutely. That's awesome. Awesome. Woo! You guys got me excited. Got my spirit man tumbling here doing cartwheels. You got you ready for your questions? I just want to say, uh, you know, they have explained it to me over and over. I still don't understand it, but I think it's a fantastic idea, and it's going to bloom and it's yeah. going to grow. I think it's like you 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 catch it. Uh, yeah. Catch the vision. Or yeah. Something. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, it's hard to put yeah. Words. basically at the end of the day, it's it's honestly it's just helping people, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. like our uh, our one of our taglines is uh, our uh, your success is our success, mm -hmm. and so that's good. You know, um, money is important, so we're not going to say that it, it's not mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. um, but trying to help others their dreams and help them to be successful mm -hmm. in the end will yeah. allow for our success and it'll mm -hmm. it will work to the overall collective success for the community yeah yeah right very good so you know we're just looking to to uh, create synergy you know there's been so many times where you've heard folks say that like uh that that you know that the you know black folks can't really you know work together that's not true it's not true it's not true no. and so if you're saying that, stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right. So because our folks that are working yeah. together yeah. Uh, to do really good things oh, yeah. in, uh, in the city of Omaha, mm -hmm. and there is a renaissance of business that's mm -hmm. taking place. And so it just it's important that we encourage one another, do business with each other, mm -hmm. learn to trust each other again. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. Because I, I think that that has been some parts of some issues mm -hmm. is that folks have not uh, trusted one another. But there are people. And doing, trust is a risk, right? It so is a risk. it is a risk, and but you, you do that it. anyway <laughs> with whomever you're doing business with. You're hoping that yeah. they're going to deliver yeah. on what they say they can exactly. deliver. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Love it. Love yeah. it. For me, I, I I have said that about us people. Us people. <laughs> uh, our, people. our our uh, black folks. Um, and uh, and uh, and the thought because it seems like 
uh, we want to do our little thing over here, and uh, but you know, I don't particularly want to try to do it with you because of trust. Mm -hmm. I don't really trust you, mm -hmm. and and I I kind of think that that comes out of the residue of slavery, mm -hmm. because during slavery, if if I was getting beat over there, you couldn't come over there trying to help me. Uh, if I was getting hung, you you know you need you need to just watch from a distance and I'm getting hung because you didn't, you were going to get hung too. And so I, I kind of think that that has something to do with us kind of um, not wanting to, you know, take part with somebody else. Mm -hmm. that, that might not make any sense, but it seemed like the Lord just showed me that there's still that slavery, slavery residue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, with, with the people of color. Mm -hmm. And not saying that it cannot be overrode uh, and, and go forth like you guys are talking about, mm -hmm. you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, because you are believers and, and uh, I believe that you can do that. Mm -hmm. You can override that thing. And they're already seeing successes. Yes. Or right. they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. They right. continue to push right. they are. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So right. to say that like, we, we've hit some roadblocks. There have been some folks that haven't played well in the mm -hmm. sandbox, but there's a lot have of that. people yeah. that there's good people doing good work mm -hmm. and there's some good things coming. Yeah, there yeah. Are. Oh, yeah. yeah. definitely. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that term, renaissance. Yes. The business so in our community. So just a small thing that even a, a another business or a mm -hmm. consumer can do for someone. If you go to a business, a restaurant, um, a hairstylist, and they have a um, website and they have a, their analytics set up, give them a good Google review. Yeah. Because good. people look at those, mm -hmm. it means something. Yeah. And you never know, it just catches on fire. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes doing business also is doing a series of small things yeah. to help someone out, That's you good. know, maybe you can't go down and buy all of the pastries from mm -hmm. Kachava Coffee this weekend, right. yeah, but right. you can give someone a good review, yeah, that's good. tell them like that they're that. doing a great job. Like right. Maybe they're thinking, well, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. done here. Mm -hmm. yeah. But with you just saying, hey, I appreciate what you do, mm -hmm. I'm gonna stay open a little mm -hmm. bit longer. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Wow, our time is uh, winding down, but this has been amazing. Yeah. Any uh, last minute comments? Yeah, or did we, did or... we cover the, the question at the end of well, where, do you, where do you, you were, see? You were supposed to ask right, that right. when right. you went somewhere else. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> well, I'll try to quickly answer that, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're obviously, although we, we've, been, we've been around for like four years. Uh -huh. um, okay. And so, um, you know, in a lot of ways, I, we really are still a, a startup. Mm -hmm. But what we see and exactly. we, we see ourselves in, in the ne next five to 10 years is that there will be expo exponential growth will be yes. uh, a business that helps to support others in the community with employment. Yes. We expect to be able to, uh, you know, this is Green Lexi Omaha. Maybe we have green, mm -hmm. you know, Green Lexi's in uh, other larger yes. mm -hmm. um, metropolitan. So yeah. Green Lexi, That's Chicago, good. Kansas yes. City, et cetera. Yeah. So, uh, we want to be able to see, um, you know, see our communities thrive. Just the yes. prototype. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Awesome. You got vision. We do. You guys got vision and you're so perfect together anyway. Great. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. God, God is you good. Want to look into the camera and tell them how to get a hold of <laughs> yes. Uh, Green yes. Lexi. Uh, yes. Again, we, we thank you for the opportunity <laughs> to, to be here. Uh, you can find Green Lexi at greenlexi.com. And uh, we're also on Facebook at Green Lexi. Uh, we're also on Instagram at Green Lexi LLC. Don't spend a lot of time on Instagram, but you know <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're growing. We're okay. working to uh, yeah. to do that. So those are the places that you can you awesome. can find us. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, in the near future some type of big event for Green Lexi, just to really splash you out there some kind of way. Well, you're seeing stuff. You're, you're really seeing stuff. We, we, have, we have ideas. <laughs> okay. We have ideas. Awesome. Yeah, so. It's coming. Right. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. Yes. Uh, and our guests, we thank you again yes. so thank much you. for thank taking you for time out to sit with us, our Ted, yes. Dorinda, and, and my, uh, my partner here, my mom, Loretta Mayberry. <laughs> thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.